Hey everybody, welcome back. Just a quick update on my progress with my Kitty Tech Shadow 5.5S resin printer. I um, You can see I've been doing some printing. I have printed a couple of the pigs. I've printed a couple of these little Mandalorian warriors. I printed this dragon head. And I had a couple of failures over here. In fact, there's probably two or three more failures in the trash can. These little Mandalorians turned out pretty darn nicely. Um, I'm very pleased with that. I got them off of... Um, oops! <laughs> they won't stand up very well. I got those off my mini factory and they were pre-supported. Everything else I've done, I've supported on my own. I got a... Um, if you can see it, is it in the shot? I got a little... printed a little... Um, Millennium Falcon. It turned out really, really nice. I had to do the supports on that myself. The little landing pad I made, I printed on one of the FDM printers. But because I'm printing so much, I needed a better wash and cure solution than the flashlight in the teacup full of um, alcohol. So, I tried to figure something out better, and I think at least for temporary I have. Um, legal stuff out of the way. Everything in this video I purchased with my own money. I'm not sponsored by anybody. Let's get the Millennium Falcon out of the way. And I'll put a, I'll put links, of course, Amazon affiliate links below to um, all the things I talk about here except for one thing, and I'm going to show you that first. This is my wash station. And it is a 16 ounce Cool Whip container. And I couldn't find it on Amazon, or I would have. So you'll have to run down to your grocery store and you'll get two because you're going to have to eat one right away to get the container. So in there, I have a little acid brush. I have a little, a little strainer thing I made, and it's got a chunk of support already in it. There was one of these off Thingiverse. I didn't care for it. It didn't fit my Cool Whip container very well. So I just jumped into Fusion and made one. And... Um, for the curing, I have something slightly, I mean, it's not anything brand new, other people are using them. But I also have a print in here, so let's get it off and let's try this out and let's see how all this works. Just gonna pop it right off of here and this is one that I had to orient and support myself it did not come pre-supported you know what that's kind of an art form that supporting it and I don't even claim to be even more than a rank novice at it at the moment we put the cover back on because it stinks to high heaven and let's get that up out of the bath and I did not move the camera, did I? Let's move the camera so you can see what I'm doing. I got it up out of the bath. And oh, if I didn't mention it, inside the container, I have Castro Purple Power Automotive Degreaser, a 50-50 solution of that in water. And it really does seem to cut the resin pretty quickly. I was surprised. It's also some pretty awful smelling stuff. I think it smells awful to do with this. So I'm just going to swish it around do it with the brush and then I'm gonna go pull the supports off of it and you gotta kinda watch the the more um, the um, more fragile points of this and there it is it's supposed to be a little tiny guy if you can see it a little tiny guy with a rifle and um, with a cloak he turned out really nice I have no idea what I'm going to do with all these little things. I really have no idea to start a uh, miniature army. No intention of it. But he needs to be cured. So let's get the um, let's get the washing station out of the way. And I'm going to take him out and rinse him off in the sink. I will be right back. Hang okay, on. rinsing him off in water with all the degreaser on you has the happy effect of also rinsing all the um, cleaning all the um, resin off the gloves. So he's all nice and clean now and he's ready to be cured. 
and this is what I decided to use for curing. And I've seen other people do it. I don't claim to be the first guy to think of this. But, and I got this off Amazon. This is a Jody Sony, Jodson E. Joe I don't know, you guys figure it out for me. It is a Sun X5 Maxi Nail Lamp. It is the kind of thing, if you're putting gel fingernails on, you stick your fingers under this, and it dries them. It has, it has um, four settings, 10 seconds, 30 seconds, 60 seconds, and 99 seconds of low heat. I guess the gel must get hot when you, um, when you cure it, or um, there wouldn't be a low heat setting. Oh, one thing I like about this, and I bought this too, I bought everything in this, the bottom pops right off of it. It's held on with these um, little magnets in these plastic posts. And I was hoping when I bought it, I just threw it across the room, I was hoping when I bought it that it would stand up. And it does. And that makes me pretty happy. I'm going to move the camera down here a slight bit here. Maybe I can get a little bit better angle. And it stands up on its own pretty nicely. The other thing, and also, this comes with a power brick. And you'll see the plug-in is in the top. If you're looking for one of these that runs off of a rechargeable power bank, this isn't the one for you. Because this one does need a power brick, and it does come with the power brick. When you plug it in, it lights up, and then you can pick any of the, um, any of the times, and it lights up with like 40 or 48 LEDs. I forget which. So, the next thing I got for this was this little nine dollar UV powered turntable and if you see it it's got a clear turntable on the top and it's got four little solar lamps excuse me solar cells around the outside to power it and um, you set that there so I got you a decent angle let me get you a slightly better angle for this there we go I'm sure that's going to swap the camera out but you put your thing you want to cure on there and you give it some time and I'm going to give it let's do 30 seconds and as soon as the um, as soon as the UV hits the the solar panels it um, it starts to turn and it cures them pretty darn quick I have set a couple out in the sun and of course I, I set them out in the sun and forget about them which is not too terrible this time of year but in, um, if I do it in July I'm going to come back and they're going to probably be melted into a puddle so that spins around for the 30 seconds and then it goes out and you can give it more you can give it less you can set it on its side and like do it again to make sure you get the bottom of the feet and everything But, um, that does a really nice job. I'm pretty happy with that. So, links below to Amazon. Affiliate links, of course. And thanks for watching. And please like and subscribe and use my affiliate links if you can. It doesn't cost you any extra money. And I'll be back more soon with more, um, more on this printer and resin printing. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.